Okay, spearheaded by Leinster rugby players, brothers and competitors, Harry and Ross Byrne. They're taking teams on a virtual run from the 2nd to the 16th of August from Dublin to Rome, covering the host cities of the Six Nations Championship. On registration, participants will automatically be assigned to Team Ross or Team Harry, with Ross and Harry acting as team captains. Each team will work towards the collective goals of running from the Aviva to the Stadio Olimpico in Rome and back covering the whole stadiums of the Six Nations, which is 4,364.8 kilometres, with the team that has clocked up the most kilometres by August 16th, winning the race. Runners and walkers of all ages and abilities are invited to take part, and you can register now to clock your miles for Dublin Simon's Run at Home with Team Harry and Team Ross. And if you don't have time to run, you can buy some kilometres for your favourite team in the Dublin Simon Run at Home. Visit dubsimon.ie forward slash run at home and it is supported by Deutsche Bank Harry Ross how are you getting on all good thanks yeah very well yourself good so who has got the upper hand so far uh, it's pretty even at the moment I think in terms of uh, sign ups <laughs> <laughs> uh, how, have, uh, how have you found being involved in the campaign so far Harry uh, it's been brilliant so far yeah uh, it's been very interesting just to see, uh, I suppose, get a little bit of an insight into what the Simon community does. Um, only kind of getting a little taster of um, how important a cause it actually really is. What are you learning? Well, just how much, how many people they help, really, um, in something that's so close to home, really. Homelessness, particularly in Dublin is, and kind of in the surrounding areas in Leinster is um, a massive issue, really. And they do massive work to help so many people. So I'm really excited to be on board in this campaign. Um, to help raise funds for that very important work. Are you starting to, I guess, become aware of uh, the, the real social role of sports people and sports people of note in this country? I suppose so, yeah. Um, it's, it's massively important, I suppose, if, if anyone in any kind of, I don't know what you call it, whether it's a position of in any way privilege or you're on some sort of platform, it's definitely important to try help, particularly issues that are close to home. Ross, I know you've been helping with Dublin Simon for, for quite some time. Have you learned anything new over the, the last little while? Has, has this campaign, I guess, f- further opened your eyes at all? I suppose probably just with COVID, I mean, how probably, how much charities have probably been affected, really, um, in terms of, obviously, there's maybe a couple of times a year they'd have massive fundraising campaigns. And I suppose with all the, the restrictions in at the moment, it's very difficult for charities to actually put those campaigns um, or those campaigns allowed to happen, I suppose. Um, so it's very difficult for them to raise money um, to help them. So I suppose doing a, a virtual race like this hopefully can go a long way in helping the Dublin Sun community because I suppose the, the money that they are raising is so important. And as Harry was saying, um, it is an issue that's very close to home. And it's one of these situations as well where the funds raised will directly help the people in need. Exactly, yeah. Um, I suppose even the numbers um, of homeless are quite staggering a little bit in Dublin um, at the moment. Um, or the amount of people in emergency accommodation is it's up over 5,000 and that's not even including people who are, who are sleeping rough. And the number came down a little bit um, last year, but because of the pandemic, it's, it's, it's gone up again slightly. So, and that's, again, due to, I suppose, Sonic Union not being able to raise as much money as possible. So I suppose we just encourage people to try and get involved um, in the virtual race to run at home. I mean, it's a bit of fun. It's a bit of activity. So it's for people of all abilities, uh, walkers, runners, joggers, whatever you want, if you run, 1k or 10k hopefully you can donate a little bit of money and it'll, it'll go a long way and they get to perform for team ross as well which is the most important thing which you forgot to exactly mention. Yeah, that is the most important thing <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm pushing the back door system with the 10 euro per kilometer so get on that. <laughs> <laughs> great so and have, have you been out and about with with dublin simon ross down through the years have, have you seen directly the sort of the sort of work they do yeah obviously before uh the previous years i've done it um when COVID wasn't about, um, even doing different stuff with them, you'd be able to see, I suppose, the, the direct work they do, and I suppose even the, the amount of people that are affected, um, so it is it is a big eye-opener, um, and even, I suppose, in Leinster and Ireland, they've done, they've done work over the years with different homeless charities, and so you, you do really get to see um, how much good work they do. 
Yeah, and, and as you pointed out there, it's unbelievably important at the moment as well that people continue to try and give as much as they can. The website, just to reiterate it, is dubsimon.ie forward slash run at home. And there are a multitude of reasons why you should sign up. Uh, Ross, have you, have you been paying close attention to the British and Irish lines over the, the, the first weekend, the first proper weekend? Uh, yeah, I watched the game over the weekend. Uh, it was uh, an interesting one. Uh, it was a bit of an arm wrestle, but I think that's probably what everyone expected, really. Um, and I think South Africa probably came out of the box flying. Um, I think at half time, everyone probably thought they had it well under control. But uh, I think the Lions did well to, to come back and win the game because I think South Africa are a very difficult team to beat once they get ahead, the way the style of play that they have. I don't know. Some people say that they prefer the open style of rugby, that it's easier in the eye. I think when the stakes are as high as a Lions test, I think people can really appreciate an arm wrestle, as you put it, over the course of the weekend. Just the, the game being on a tightrope, especially, it was unbelievably tense. Yeah, I mean, I, I, personally, I'd rather the game was a bit more open. It's a bit more entertaining. <laughs> but, I mean, at test level, at the highest, um, it's understandable how teams play like that. And I mean, that's South Africa's DNA, really, and it's what won them the World Cup. So I don't think they're going to go away from that. And I think this week they're probably do it even more they'll probably kick even more than they did last last week and the Lions probably tried to in the second half they probably played a little bit more and they probably they probably reaped the rewards from it so it'll be interesting to see what approach they take this week Was it good quality kicking at least? Uh, yes and no uh, <laughs> I think there was some some very good quality kicks I mean you probably saw when the Lions scored I think straight after half time uh, the quality of Ali Price's two box kicks and I think the Lions ended up getting points off off the back of both of them. Um, it's difficult as well, I suppose, for the Springboks because a lot of them haven't played really test rugby in two years almost. Um, and obviously some of them having COVID as well. So it's tough to know exactly what impact that had on them. And even their preparation has been very interrupted. So it'll be interesting to see how they go this week. I think they could be a little bit stronger this week. But again, I think the Lions will be better because combinations will have all played last week and they'll have another week's prep. So. Um, I think it'll be a very interesting game. Harry, what have you made of it? Um, yeah, I found it very interesting. I kind of, I watched that. Uh, I completely binge watched the Chasing the Sun documentary yesterday for right. the first time, and it kind of reminded me a bit of that um, the semi final of the World Cup between Wales and uh, South Africa, where it was just a full arm wrestle: who's going to kick more and who's going to choke the other team, kind of basically out of the competition or out of the contest. Um, yeah, it was fascinating though. But yeah, as Ross said, those kind of that was the two peak moments for me those box kicks kind of after half time kind of really swung it for the Lions I think got a few penalties South Africa ill disciplined a little bit so I find that there were pretty close margins particularly at that level like and I think I don't know I'll be interested to see this week I'm interested as well if the 6-2 split from South Africa no 10 on the bench as well is interesting so they're obviously back in their their starters to do a job and then bring on as they call it the bomb squad as I was watching the, <laughs> the documentary who's going to do it who's going to win the series Oh, I think it's going to be tough. I, <laughs> if you ask me after next week, I'll give you an answer. But I think the Lions, to be honest, being 1 0 up, I think there's enough, there's probably enough players who've done it at such a high level that they can get over the line. Into... Ross, yeah, I think the Lions probably have a bit more depth in their squad. Um, particularly, I think, in, in key positions, I think they, if they get an injury or two, I think they can still manage. Whereas I think South Africa particularly because they probably haven't been able to build the depth over the last year or so since the, since the World Cup. So I think the Lions squad is stronger, but um, if they win this week, South Africa, it'd probably be tough to stop them with the momentum into the third test. If you were watching the Chase in the Sun documentary, you might not have had time, but have you guys been keeping an eye on the Olympics at all and the, and the Sevens team? I actually haven't been able to watch any of the games live. I watched just the... Um... Was this a oh, watch game? I didn't see the South Africa game. I saw the game after it. But um, no, I haven't really been able to keep up with it. Last few, the time difference has been a bit, of a bit of an issue. But more just checking on my phone, kind of following the and following as it goes. It's obviously, massively disappointing for the lads uh, to finish where they finished, especially because they did so well to get there, and there's so much work gone in to get them to the Olympics. And I'm sure, they're very frustrated. But such a massive achievement still to be the first team to to get there. I'm sure they'll be back in four years' time. For sure, for sure. Hopefully the start of something for that team. Uh, just to mention again that it's spearheaded by Leinster Rugby Players Brothers 
and competitors Harry and Ross Byrne. They're taking teams on a virtual run from the 2nd to the 16th of August from Dublin to Rome, covering the whole cities of the Six Nations Championship. So on registrations for the race, participants will automatically be assigned to Team Ross or Team Harry, and it is pretty even, they say, but Ross and <laughs> Harry acting as team captains. Each team will work towards the collective goal of running from the Aviva to the Stadio Olimpico and back covering the whole stadiums of the Six Nations, with the team that has clocked up the most kilometres by August 16th, winning the race, but most importantly, winning the pride of the Byrne family. Runners and walkers of all ages and abilities are invited to take part. You can register now to clock your miles for Dublin Simon's Run at Home with Team Harry and Team Ross. And if you don't have time to run, you can buy some kilometres for your favourite team in the Dublin Simon Run at Home. I think you all at home know how important the cause is. It's an absolutely fantastic cause. And you can visit dubsimon.ie forward slash run at home for all the details and that includes donations. So please head on there even if uh, you're not willing to, to walk or run and it is supported by Deutsche Bank. We will be updating you on the progress over the next little while. Harry and Ross Byrne, great stuff as ever. Thanks a million. Cheers, Al. Thanks, Thanks very much. much.